Introduction to Labor Market Information. Tell me what to take so I can get a good job. This is a statement that college career counselors hear all the time, and it's a fair one. You want to pursue your interests, but ultimately, you also want to find a job. The good news is that there's a ton of information out there about which industries are hiring, and this video will help you to navigate some of it. Labor Market Information, or LMI, can tell you lots of different things, such as job trends, the jobs and skills employers are looking for, what industries are hiring, where the jobs are located, and areas of job growth or decline. Labor market information is dynamic and can change because of many factors, such as global issues like a pandemic, political changes, recessions, and more. Therefore, it's important to consider both the long-term and short-term labor market information. Looking at this kind of information can help you with your career planning, but it can be overwhelming to sort through the huge amount of info that a quick Google search turns up. So first, we're going to show you a few reliable places to find labor market information. A good starting point is to look at the Government of Canada's website and go to the Job Outlooks page. Here, you can see if growth in the field is limited, fair, or good. If you check out the website's job bank, you can see any job postings that are currently listed and get a sense of who is hiring and the salary. The Provincial Jobs website also provides great, up-to-date information on job trends in Ontario. Here you can search by occupation and access information about employment growth and wages, among other things. Statistics Canada is also a great resource that provides labour market information, including employment rates across the country. Now that you have an idea of where to look, there are a few important things to remember when sifting through labour market information. You want to make sure the information is coming from a reputable source, like the government websites we just looked at. Labour market information should always be used with caution and used alongside other information for career decision making. Labour market information is dynamic and can change quickly due to a variety of factors. Therefore, there is often some uncertainty with the information. Think critically about the data presented. What is the sample size for the statistics? So, did they ask enough people for the information to be reliable? Similarly, is the data up to date? You'll want the information to be relatively current. Finally, check your expectations. While it would be wonderful to graduate and immediately secure a high-paying job in the city of your choice, it's possible that you may have to move for a little while to gain the experience and skills needed to secure employment in the area you would like to settle in long term. Remote and rural communities often provide more opportunities than you would have in larger urban areas where the competition for employment can be huge. Finally, don't be turned off by short-term or part-time opportunities. Part-time and contract work are a great way to gain experience and get a foot in the door. For more information, including links to websites with reliable labor market information, check out the rest of this module.